back once again. My name is Victor Digumo here. And uh, in our class today, we are still looking at um, polynomials. And um, we are focusing on cubic equations, cubic equations. And uh, last class, we saw how we can divide the cubic equation by a polynomial of a, a lower degree. And uh, if you looked at that class, it helped us to be able to explain what we call the remainder theorem. And then in this class, we want to see how we can factorize a cubic equation completely, completely. All right, so let's look at this example I have here. Hmm? So how can one be able to factorize um, this cubic equation? How can one be able to do it? There is a procedure that you need to follow. And that procedure is that once given this cubic equation, once given this cubic equation, the first thing you do is to test whether it is factorizable. You check whether it is factorizable and you must get a factor, the first factor. You know, um, quadratic equations, when you factorize them or when you simplify them, you have two factors, okay? You have two results, two roots as the case may be. But in cubic equation, when you simplify them, or when you factorize them, you have three factors or three roots, as the case may be. Okay, so let's see how we can be able to take this down. The first thing you do is, let's say we call it step one, obtain, obtain, x minus k such that such such that such that f of k is equal to zero i will explain if i begin to text this k values which my range from one to you know as the case may be at the point where i can be able to obtain this i will keep on testing on and then until i get an f of k that is zero let's try and see what we are talking here what we are saying is this is f of x being this polynomial this expression i will begin to text every k that will give this expression to be zero does that make sense so let's try is by trial and error let's test from one let's say assume we have something like f of one f of one what is it going to give us we are going to obtain i hope you're seeing what i'm doing here one into here means Two bracket one to power three minus nine bracket one to power two plus seven bracket one then plus six. Let's just check what it is. This is like two times one because one is power three is one. Two times one minus nine times one plus seven times one then plus six. Is it going to give us zero? I have two here. I have minus nine. I have plus seven. I have plus six. This and this will give me nine. Nine minus nine plus six will give us six, which is not equal to zero. It's not equal to zero. We will check another one. I will check another key. Let, let's assume I check f of minus one. Okay? f of minus one will be two bracket minus one to power three minus nine bracket minus one to power two plus seven uh, bracket minus one then plus uh, six let's check what it is uh, i'm i'm sure that we know 
that when a negative number is raised to power odd, it is still negative. It only becomes positive when it is raised to power even. All right, when the power is even. So this will be minus two because this is like two times minus one. So we, we have here, of course, here will be one because minus one times minus one is one. So this is minus nine times one, which is minus nine. Then plus, okay, if you look here now, you see seven times minus one, of course, that is going to be minus seven, then plus uh, six. Let's check. Of course, this and this is minus nine minus nine, then plus six. This is minus 18 plus six, which is 12. Not 12, minus 12. Minus 12. And that is uh, not zero. We will try again. Of course, that is what we have to do to get the first factor. Then we can now reduce it to a quadratic level where we can now follow the procedure for factorization of a quadratic equation to get the two other remaining factors. So um, let's test two. Let's test two and see what I hope we can see what I'm doing here. Let me do it there. F of two. What is it going to give us? f of 2 will be 2 bracket 2 raised to power 3 minus 9 bracket 2 squared plus 7 bracket 2 then plus uh, 6. Okay? So, you know that 2 raised to power 3 is 8. So, obviously, I am having something like 2 times 8 there. 2 raised to power 3 is, is 8. 2 times 8. Here, yeah? then minus, this is like 4. 2 squared is 4. So I'm having like 9 times 4. Then plus, of course, this is 14. Then plus uh, 6. Okay? This thing you are seeing here is minus 36. And this is 18. Is it 18? No, 16. This is 16. That is 2 times 8, 16. Then, of course, this and this will give us 20. Plus 20. So we can see that we are having 36 minus 36 equals to 0. Wow. So we have been able to obtain f of 2 to be equal to 0. And it then means our k is equal to 2. So it then means as well that x minus 2 is a factor. Is a factor. Is a factor of this expression. So what we are looking for now is the remaining two other factors. How are we going to get them? We move on. We will, if you were there in the last class when we were looking at the division of a polynomial of a higher degree by the polynomial of a lower degree, you will realize that what we do here now, we divide this expression by this and we step it down to a quadratic level. So, so I am going to divide this by this. So I will have 2x raised to power 3 minus 9x squared plus 7x plus 6 divided by x minus 2. So obviously the procedure is there which I used in the previous class. So what we do is we use this to divide this. So this divide this. For, please for detailed explanation visit the previous class. This divide this is going to give me two. That should be squared. Okay, because this divide this will give 2x raised power 2. Okay, so if you multiply this and this, you now have this. Multiply this and this, you now have, yeah, I think, yeah, minus 4x squared. I think that's okay. And then when you take that subtraction, you now have here squared. All right. I think I have been able to correct that um, little mistake. All right, so please, we move on. This, the difference between this and this gave us this. And then we bring down plus 7x and then bring down plus 6. All right. Let's take it again. This, divide this. That will give us minus 5x. And minus 5x times x will give minus 
5 x squared and then minus 5 x times minus 2 will give us minus times minus will give us plus so here will be plus plus okay plus uh, 10 x okay and then we subtract again of course minus into minus this will be zero so obviously obviously this is gone and we have 7x minus 10x of course this is like yeah minus 10x uh, plus 7x that will give us minus 3x okay i'm sure you realize you get you were able to capture it okay so we bring down plus uh, 6 what next now we divide again this divide this will give us minus 3 minus 3 then times this we will have minus 3x then this times this will give us a plus 6 plus 6 okay if you subtract you realize that this is 0 and this is 0 so we have 0 0 so there is no remainder okay so is that all yeah that's it so what was i saying earlier i was saying that if you get this factor you will use it to divide this polynomial and reduce it to a quadratic level where you can now factorize that quadratic expression and obtain the remaining two other factors so let's quickly see how we can be able to factorize this i hope we are seeing this point we will factorize 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. The procedure for factorization, I believe so much that we are well acquainted with that. But I am trying, I'm going to, you know, a, bring it up again. So I will use this to multiply this and I will get uh this and this will give me minus six x squared i will now break this into two distinct factors that can give me this and those two distinct factors that can give me this middle term as i'm looking at it here now the only thing that can two and three two and three yeah two and three two times three is six and the minus two x minus three x will give me it will give me minus but here times this times this is not going to work because this times this is going to return here plus so if i wipe here here this will be negative and this will no longer correspond with this so this is not it let's check something else can we use one and six one and six two factors of this one and six can we use um can we use x x and minus 6x this times this can give this and this plus this can give this i think that's okay okay so i will now have i will now have 2x squared plus uh, x minus 6x then minus uh, this will replace this minus 3 okay so the HCF of these two groups, two group is uh, X. So we have, I'm sure we are seeing what I'm doing here. So we have X into, into 2X plus one, yeah. And within here, the HCF is minus three. And minus three here will be two X. Am I correct? Yes, this time this will give you this okay and then here will be plus one plus one so that minus three times plus one will give minus three i think that's okay so outside the bracket i have x minus three and inside the bracket i have two x plus one do we realize that we have been able to factorize this f of x which is two x to the power three minus nine x to the power two plus 7x 
plus six into three factors. One is the is now equal to one is x minus two. The other is x minus three, and the other is two x plus one. We have been able to factorize this polynomial okay, into three factors. Into three factors. So the cubic equation, the three factors that make it up. If you are looking for the rules, you just have to equate each one of them to zero and obtain the various roots. So I believe that this explanation is very helpful and uh, it can be able to guide you to, though we are still bringing more illustrations and more examples, and that's the reason why you have to just click on the subscription button so that you get um and the notification button as well so that you get notified when we make fresh uploads please what we are doing here i trust god is going to be a great assistance to you and the return is you be of an encouragement to us by liking our video and sharing it to someone else and also subscribing to our channel if you do that you will not regret thank you so much